good Friday evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Jaakko Lajunen, and I uh, will have a presentation about the IOF Main Event Quality Index. My nickname is Jaska, and I, I'm a retired major from the uh, uh, Finnish Air Force Flight Test Center over 10 years now. And my responsibilities in the uh, flight test center were um, aircraft instrumentation, data gathering and analysis, avionic systems evaluation, validation and verification. And I was an instructor for the avionic systems, measurement techniques and the instrumentation systems. My orientation background, my, I have my first Yukola in uh, 1984 in Vierumäki. And since then, I, I was a course setter and controller in several national events since 1986. Uh, I've been an accredited IOF EA since 2004, and currently I'm an SEA for the European Championship 2022 in Estonia, and also for the World Cup Round 1 uh, 2023 in Norway. I was an event director for Jamse Yukola 2013, and currently I'm a permanent EA for Yukola Relay, also a member of the IOF Photo Commission. Uh, something about the Event Quality Index background. Uh, the main goal is, is to improve the overall quality of events across the whole orienteering community by increasing the motivation to excel in organizing and controlling the IOF main events. Uh, the IOF Council uh, approved the Futo Commission remits 2021-2022 uh, to state for this uh, event quality index, development and implementation for daily use, improvement and communication. Currently, mm, we are uh, defining the responsibilities uh, with the IOF office and uh, selection of referees for the 2022 pilot event is going on. And this spring 2022 is uh, training the referees for the high level events and then agree on criteria with the different uh, aspects of the event quality index. In July, we are using the world orienteering championships in Denmark as a pilot event for the EQI, then the IOF office will calculate and communicate results to the stakeholders of that, and uh, the IOF office will assess the process by the end of the 2022 year, and then highly likely we need to have some modifications to the process for the next year, so that will happen by the end of the 2022 and we will continue for the next year with the full implementation. Some definitions about event quality index. As a main event initially here uh, we have the world championships and the world cup in, in football and of course uh, the IOF office uh, will look into forward to mm, kind of get this implemented to the other disciplines also. The event of course can consist of several competitions and qualifications and then the competition will be a specific competition or event under the guidelines and rules of the IOF. Uh, quality and the quality index will be measured from set quality criteria based on uh, following the competition guidelines and rules of IOF. The quality index will be weighted average of the QI results of each competition of the event. The referees for this, uh, there will be a max number of, of uh, six referees for each event and uh, they will be nominated for the whole calendar year where applicable. Including two atle active athletes, one male and one female nominated by the athlete advisory group, one rep from the IOF Council, 
one rep from the IOF office, one rep from the, the IOF foot or commission, and then the IOF SEA for each event. With the quality index process, um, the process owner is the IOF office who has to build, develop, maintain and run the process. And the yearly process starts by appointing and training the referees no later than two months prior uh, the new season starts. And the process ends once the quality index results were published uh, or are published. Um, voided competitions or any competition where over 15% of the start field is disqualified, they are not rated. In both cases, uh, the index rating is zero and the verbal statement is not rated or NR. Uh, then in case uh, one or, or more quality index referee award points in an assessment uh, are differing from the other referees assessment average by two or more points, such points, they are not included in the, in the index calculations. And this judgment will be done by the, by the IOF office. Then there will be a, a verbal rating of, of the competition and event and, uh, that will uh, be, if the number is zero, we will not rate it, as mentioned before. Then from zero to 1.4, that will be poor. 1.5 uh, to 2.4 will be fair. 2.5 to 3.4 will be good, 3.5 to 4.4 will be excellent, and then the impossibility for 4.5 to 5 will be brilliant. Of course, that is something that every one of us will be aiming to. The IOF office will uh, compile the number of statistics by season events, formats, federations, SES, ETC, as required. Uh, database will become more objective and analytical in time, but this requires, of course, that the process parameters, weighting and criteria, they remain fixed. The IOF office will provide uh, the table of results to to each of the organizer uh, without delay. Inside the EQI, we have um, eight sets of uh, parameters um, that will be uh, fairness, even competition organization, technical quality, public and media service, including arena and TV, service to athletes and teams, result services, event marketing and funding, and the event sustainability. And every one of these awarded in a scale from zero to five, as mentioned before. In the fairness, um, we have the fairness before and during the event and information fairness to all athletes and teams. That will include bulletins, um, embargoes, arena starts, quarantines, arena passage, was it um, used or, or new terrain and when it was used last time and which level of competition, whether um, non-disclosure agreements, uh, in place and, and uh, who are the people who know the race details before the race, uh, uh, whether local athletes banned from the start field, uh, any terrain doping possibilities, what info were given in advance, LIDAR data, etc. Uh, in sprints especially, uh, whether any assistance to athletes during the competition, how where the surveillance and, and control measures taking place, equipment checks, special rules, or, or the other uh, aspects of, of fairness. Then um, under the organization, 
of course, uh, the organization is responsible for the success of the event. So uh, this is uh, wait, waiting uh, with number three and, and uh, uh, the referee should look inside the uh, organization around competence, language skills, experience, stability, availability, and time management, etc. And uh, it will be a broader um, kind of look into even director, key section heads and other volunteers. Also, uh, the national controllers will be um, assessed here and IOF advisors, jury members, and if there were any outsourced resources, they will be assessed. Uh, then the efforts and, and success uh, to learn from previous events and to cooperate with controllers and advisors. Any lacking resources that will be shown in the, in the process, time management versus plans and original, original application, event implementation, risk mapping, any special and planned actions taking place, then uh, availability during the event. Technical quality is the core element of, of any event, so this will be weight, weighted uh, by the number of five. It, it will include terrains, maps, courses and all race-related processes and activities. Following the rules and guidelines and manuals will be assessed here. Terrain quality, map quality, race, course setting quality versus uh, competition format, quarantines, bridge chart, etc. In relays, forking, vegetation or weather impact for uh, first versus last starters, winning times versus uh, rules and, and published estimates, any disqualifications, complaints, protest, they will be handled here. Public and media service including arena and TV. So that will include TV broadcasting, was too much of race quality, course setting quality compromised because of TV, internet services before the event, during the event and after the event, speakers, screens, split times, so forth, guidance in for parking, arena setup, uh, weather risk management, presentation about national flags, price giving, flower ceremonies, prices, and then if there were a public race impact on, on the event. Services to athletes and teams, that will include all relevant service before, during and after the event. Bulletins, training possibilities, model event quality, accommodation, food, transportation, team officers meeting, info meeting, quarantine, arena services, team tents, language skills, security, ADT, and if there is a get-together in place after the race. Then uh, result services, um, including split times to, to arena spectators, TV, online, GPS follow-up at arena and online, arena results, uh, including the delay of publishing those on site, then the final results online, including delay of publishing those, and if there are analysis of competitions afterwards available.
event marketing and funding will be one of the set of criteria. So planning, implementation and result. Finance, organization, marketing communication plan to our interim community, public sector, local media, other stakeholders, local sponsors, local visibility. Then the landowner relationship management, how was that done? VIP services, and then the even financial result versus targeting, budgeting, and forecasting that. Then the final set of criteria will be the even sustainability. This is uh, getting more and more important to, to any any event uh, in every part of the world. That will be the minimum event impact to climate and environment. Well, it will also include the high ethical standards in organizing the event. First one will be transport and parking, the minimizing and recovering waste for raw material, responsible and ethical supply of goods and services, protecting terrain, forest, etc. Clean terrain and arena after the event, no littering, uh, noise level, not disturbing to neighbors, and then uh, the minimizing usage of plastic maybe recycling anything that is possible so um, after the event the previous eight uh, sets uh, the referees they will fill out this excel form to give the numbers and then uh, they will be calculated to the event quality index number and uh, given a, a verbal statement of, of the event. And that will uh, conclude my, uh, my presentation. And um, if there are any questions, there should be Henrik and Sondre also from the IOF office side to, to answer those if there are any.